by Theodore Gray was actually a book before it became the showcase app that was everywhere when the first iPad debuted. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and a lot of fun. So here's the home page, and there's actually a song that was created in 1959. It's to the tune of a major modern general. I forgot what play that's from, but it features all of the elements. So there's a little slideshow of every element, and then it zooms to a spot in the periodic table. So this was cool. There's information about the app. You can actually order 3D glasses, and I'll show you what you would need those for in a minute. And you can tap to order the book. There's a table of contents that allows you to go to each element um, from right from here. If you're looking for a particular element, you can zoom right to it. Then there's a back button that takes you exactly to where you just were. And there's also the credits for the uh, app, but I'm not going to go to that. Now, to get to an element, like I said, you can use a table of contents or... You can just tap it on the periodic table there. So what you have is all the information about the element courtesy of Wolfram Alpha. And it is up to the date information, including like the current market price of the element besides its atomic weight, density, melting point, boiling point, electro negativity, and a bunch of other stuff that I do not understand. I barely passed chemistry, though had I had this app, Maybe I would actually be a chemist right now. Now, after the main page, and that animation is the same animation that actually plays within the little periodic table at the beginning on the home screen of the app, you can go to a page with information about the app and a little gallery of items for the app, plus information about the element, not app, <laughs> a little gallery of items that are made in part by this element or contain traces of this element, information about the element, then you can tap, double tap, on each item in the little gallery and you can look at it singularly and also rotate it. Or you can look at it left to right or right to left using 3D glasses. And it gives you some information about the 3D glasses if you want and then you can get back out of that. And you just navigate, you can navigate through the, 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 through the app this way or always go back to the home page. So it's the main page for the app and then the page with the information about it. This is one of the more expensive apps on the App Store. It is $12.99, but it's worth it. Especially if you have kids that are in chemistry class, I mean, it brings it to life. Just staring at that regular periodic table is like, whatever. I mean, I remember. This makes them, of course they are real, but you know how it is in high school. If you can't see it, it's really hard to understand it or even believe it. Um, so I highly recommend it. It's worth the investment. Now, the only thing about it is that it is huge, you know, compared to most apps. So... In that case, unless you are using it every day, I do not recommend keeping this on your device because it just takes up so much space. I'm actually going to be deleting it after I finish this review because I just don't, I don't use it every day. I just wanted to get it because I wanted to see it and experience it. I remember really being impressed with this when I saw it displayed and I wanted to get a chance to fool around with it by myself. And it is perfectly usable, not usable, but useful if, let's say, you were needing to come up with information for your chemistry class. But otherwise, I would say no. So, this is The Elements by Theodore Gray. It's expensive, but I say the price is justified within this app. A lot of people are complaining about it crashing. I don't know what was updated. I have never had a problem with it crashing at all whatsoever. So I don't know if it was they changed something and now it doesn't work properly on iPad 1s or what the deal is. But I have not had any problems with it at all. And I do recommend it, particularly if you need this information. The Elements by Touch Press was one of the showcase apps when the iPad debuted. And now I've got another app for you from the same um, company. And it is Gems and Jewels. 
it basically lets you have a virtual tour of every gym that's in the Granger Hall of Gyms at the Field Museum of Natural History here in Chicago. And it is beautiful and glorious. Every time I click something, it was taking me to another amazingly photographed gym in this app. I had so much fun with it. And I'll be honest, when I had this screen, I was like, oh, kind of fancy. But I honestly did not think I was going to enjoy this app at all. I love it. So the apps are categorized, of course, as apps would be by their type. Diamonds, rubies, opals, amethysts. Then they also have them separated by inorganic or organic. There's an introduction. There's this really cool thing where you can actually virtually walk around the exhibit and you can click one of the sections. It takes you to a photograph of the exhibit and then as the, um, the uh, items rotate within their little respective cases, you can press a gem and it'll take you to the page that's for it. Um, this is a really cool feature. It's a life size button that shows you what the object would look like in real life and you can still interact with it and rotate it which is one of the most popular features of all of these apps. So you can also rotate the items as they are on the pages, I guess you would say, which is fantastic because a lot of these jewelry pieces, like look at the back of this necklace, I mean, are beautiful all the way around. So that's really cool. Another cool thing is the way that these are photographed. Look at the detail on here and you can actually turn the items to look at the back as well as the front in stunning detail by turning it around. Just, oh my gosh, it's insane. Now you can advance through the app by just pressing the back and forward diamonds that are available right here in the lower right hand corner. Like look at the back of that, it's beautiful. You can also literally go right back to where you were by pressing the back button or you can go to the home page which will take you to where all of the gems are. It's just beautiful. I mean there's nothing else to say about this app. Much like the elements you just want to click through, click through, click through all day long. This is amazing. You can use this as a brooch as well as a necklace. There's information about the app like where, not the app, information about the item of jewelry where it came from, um, who it belongs to. Unfortunately, they never mention the price of anything. Press the life size button at any time to see how big it really is. You can read more and again, Wolfram Alpha, Alpha, <laughs> Wolfram Alpha is providing current market value, the name of the item, class, system, group, species, variety, the hardness level, as well as the composition and the trace elements everything you'll want to know. You can scroll up through these to find out more information. You can hit the home button. You can search in the app for if you're looking for a particular gym. There's an index where you can find what you want. And the song in this app is Marilyn Monroe singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Now the one thing about this app much like the elements is it takes up massive amounts of space on your device. And unless you've got a 64 gigabyte iPad and you're not going to be using this every day, I don't recommend keeping it on your device. I am seriously considering keeping it on all the time on mine. I did delete the elements, but I really like this app. It's so much fun to look at. Everything is photographed so beautifully. I mean, just being able to zoom in like this and see the detail in everything and not just the front but the back as well of all these pieces it's just unreal i love being able to spin everything around that's so fun you can find out about black diamonds here press the life size button which i really like that's how big it is for real and just advance through it it's just so fun And everything you touch takes you to another section. That's one of the reasons I was enjoying myself. So when I initially, when I first got this app, everything I touched took me to another stunning page filled with beautiful photography. Lots and lots of fun. Like, look at this. That is gorgeous. Now, again, one of the pricier apps, it is $13.99, but this 
it's worth it. I mean, it really is. Completely gorgeous. Gems and jewels. If you like gems and jewels, you will love this app. The team that created the Elements and Gems and Jewels hit it out of the park with both of those apps. Stunning examples of how the iPad can revolutionize the book experience. Unfortunately, the third time was not the charm with Solar System, which is really a book by Marcus Chown. But this app is horrible. Like In my opinion, this page is the most fun in this app. I mean... There's so much you can do with the solar system, and I just felt really let down with this app. There was no fun. There was no interest. Yeah, I can spin around Saturn, but that's it. Maybe it's because it was such a realistic portrayal of each planet. And they're not really that good looking. But I still felt like they could be more interesting. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like this app at all. Like, look at the sun. It's not even glowing or it doesn't even look like it's on fire. I mean, I just expected more after dealing with the elements and then the gems and jewels where everything I touched was interactive and moving and flipping around. This just didn't do it for me. Not impressed at all. Maybe it was too realistic for me. Since I'm not an astronomer... I don't think I appreciated this. I wanted more fun. I guess, honestly, maybe I wanted a more kid-friendly or kid-focused solar system app. Was not liking this one. I love this page where everything's moving around. But for $13.99, I wanted way, way, way more. Even the solar system here is in a lot of fun. I mean, it doesn't fly back and forth or anything. It just, you know, I can spin the the planets a little bit and that's it so honestly I do not recommend this app um there's a lot of information in it but it's not presented in the best way especially if you're like me and you're coming off of their other two apps you're just gonna expect so much more I mean what I have showed you is what there is which is kind of just ball ball dull boring and this was actually like reading a book. So I do not recommend this solar system app. It's taking up like a gig of space on my iDevice, so I'm gonna get rid of it as quickly as I can, which means immediately after I finish recording this. I don't recommend this. Do recommend the elements and gems and jewels, but not solar system, not at all. <laughs>